When Henry VII came to the throne, he was faced by numerous threats and pretenders. One of these was Lambert Simnel, and he was supported by John de la Poole, the Earl of Lincoln. Now, Lambert Simnel was a boy from Oxford who was trained to act like Richard, Duke of York, and basically show that Henry wasn't the rightful heir to the throne, and this man was. And to put de la Poole put this together and to show himself as a Yorkshire clamant, and Henry actually had the real Earl of Warwick exhibited in London for all to see, therefore showing that Lambert Simnel was a fake. Uh, as a result, the Earl of Lincoln fled to Margaret of Burgundy in the Netherlands. Margaret of Burgundy is a very anti-Henry person, as Richard III was her, was her brother. And basically what they did was they persuaded Margaret to support Simnel's claim and pay for force of mercenaries to invade England. These are German-trained mercenaries who are very good with crossbows and are actually quite dangerous. Henry, know, Henry knew that um, Simnel was likely to come back, and so he planned his responses. Um, Henry decided to... Um, put the Earl of Northumberland back into his main power base in the north, thereby neutralising any potential Yorkist threat in the north, as he gambled that by doing this, many of the other lords would see the benefits of supporting him over a Yorkist power. Uh, he also decided to reinforce coastal defence in East Anglia, as that's where he saw Simnel's land. However, Simnel decided to land in um, Cumberland and cross the Pennines, this was a reason so he could drum up support from any of Richard's old power bases in Yorkshire. However, none of the lords really supported him and they were going for the whole wait and see attitude to see what happened. And eventually it came down to the Battle of Stoke Field in 1487. Henry was very worried because obviously two years earlier Richard had been facing similar consequences and lost. However, due to having an effective army and particularly the vanguard led by the Earl of Oxford, um, Henry's troops stayed firm, and despite the um, German pike, the German crossbowmen, the English archers were very effective at the battle. And as a result, um, De La Poole was killed, and Lambert Simnel was actually captured after the battle and turned into a spitball by Henry. So the idea was that um, uh, he would. Just, the idea was that Simnel would serve Henry loyally. His victory at Stoke was very significant. It brought back the end of the War of the Roses because that was the last of the true Yorkshire clamours, if you like. He'd managed to overcome a crisis due to his own abilities rather than relying on luck, and he managed to actually force a lot of Yorkists to still support him by enforcing bonds of good behaviour on them. And the idea of this was that if they broke, then they'd be financially ruined. 